Howdy everybody, this is Fuselage video number two. Um, it is the second video in the aft fuselage section. Um, and basically what I'm doing in this video is all of the bulkheads um, up until um, the the very big bulkheads, I guess. So this is all of the smaller bulkheads that are towards the very rear of the plane. Um, and so that's the very back. And you'll see I, on the left side of my desk there, on the left side of the video, on the right side of my desk, actually, from where I'm standing, you'll see the vertical stabilizer. That section right there um, is the part that hooks to the vertical stabilizer. Um, and so what you do is you fit it to the vertical stabilizer, it drills some holes and whatnot. Um, and then I do have a video that either is out right before this one or right after this one. I'm not sure in what order it is, but I'll put a link to it if I have it here. Um, uh, video that talks about the two holes that you don't want to dimple in this particular piece of metal. Um, the the instructions say to dimple everything in the in the web, um, which is the the big part of it, but you don't want to do that. That is not true. There are two holes that you don't want to dimple. Um, and in that other video, I explain why and where they're at. So take a look at that one. Check it out. Um, and then this that very back uh, part of the aft fuselage is also what holds your rear tie down. Um, since I have the 14A, it is the tricycle gear. It is not the tail dragger. Um, and so the back of the aft fuselage doesn't have to get cut open and have the wheel assembly attached. Um, all it gets is that piece of aluminum that you screw a um, tie down ring to. And then you see, I didn't show you me painting those um, everywhere that I did prime stuff. I kind of cut that section out just to speed videos up. And if you, if you don't know how to prime apart, check out some of my other videos. I've, I've done it a, what feels like a million and a half times, even though when I started, I said I wasn't going to prime a whole bunch. Um, for some reason, I ended up doing it. I'm not sure why. Um, I do have a joke for you guys, and I will preface this joke by saying that my older parents didn't get it for the longest time, and they thought it was stupid, and I think it's absolutely hilarious. So that's the preface for this particular joke. So if you have a cricket ball in one hand and a cricket ball in in the other hand, what do you have? A very big cricket. <laughs> ah, it kills me. Yeah, my parents, my mom, I don't think still gets it. She's, even though I explained it to her, she's like, I don't get it. It was kind of funny. But anyways, if you don't like my jokes, too bad, sorry. This is the second section of the aft fuselage bulkheads. Um, it is the one that fits kind of in the very, it's not the very back, but it's the second one to the back. Um, and it's where the, it's the furthest back part where the horizontal stabilizer attaches. Um, that's what those two big metal pieces that get attached to it are for. They're for the horizontal stabilizer. You, you will eventually set the horizontal stabilizer on the deck of the aft fuselage and drill holes from the big pieces that you'll see here in a second. I'll point them out. You'll drill holes from those into your um, aft fuselage or you'll, you know, match up the hold, match drill the holes, those things, the big, thick pieces of aluminum. And those pieces that stick up are what's actually going to get bolted to your horizontal stabilizer. 
the bulkheads are they're pretty bulky um at least the back three are pretty bulky they they have a lot of aluminum um, attached to them and i'm sure that's because it it holds on to basically two of your three control surfaces um so they probably have to be pretty bulky um, it is pretty interesting because once you get to the next bulkhead um, which is the um it's the 1409 that's just a little skinny little piece of aluminum that starts your the top curve of your aft fuselage and then the 1408 and the 1407 are just flimsy little pieces of aluminum that you know once they're attached to the actual skins they become very rigid but they're it's kind of weird dealing with those they're big and flimsy but these back sections are really uh, bulky i mean they're they're heavier and thicker and meatier so it's kind of nice and then you'll see me here i'm going to get the um the 1410 bulkhead, which is the third one from the rear. Um, you'll see me, I do drill out a hole because we do run some stuff, some uh, cable through the bottom of that one. That's why I drilled out that bigger hole. Um, and you'll notice those aren't um, primed yet. You will see that happen here shortly. Um, and then I actually went and got them out of the storage found all the pieces that i needed um, because i was today on this day when i was doing this um, i was going to just do those two but they went together pretty quick they were pretty easy to get situated and and put together and so i was like i'm gonna do another one and you have to be careful when you decide you're like okay i have a plan for you know, what I'm going to do in this particular day. And then if you decide to do more, you have to be very, very careful and make sure you're not tired and you know what you're doing and have read the instructions. Um, I didn't make any mistakes on this particular piece. Um, it was rather easy to do. So, but I will tell you that I have had things where I'm like I can do a little bit more and then I end up getting myself in trouble and screw up something and then I have to order it and wait a couple weeks for it to show up so don't do that make sure you're well rested and understand what you're supposed to do and I know I told you I wasn't going to show you much but you'll see boom there I am finishing up painting and then watch here we go boom they're dry see how easy that is it's kind of nice so this is the third bulkhead from the rear in the aft fuselage. Um, and it actually, those two little pieces that stick up, those will actually bolt onto the forward spar of your horizontal stabilizer. So your horizontal stabilizer kind of fits in there. <clears throat> and then uh, basically the same thing that you've done a million and a half times when you're building a plane. You drill stuff out you you know get rid of the you know you deburr it get rid of all the you know things that don't really fit right you've put it together probably three or four times at this point um, and then you're gonna start assembling it you put it together for the last time make sure everything's right you double check your your instructions there you make sure everything's lined up right you put some clecos in double check it again and then you start smashing rivets those pieces that i'm hooking on right now are rather thick um, like i said the, these back three bulkheads are pretty beefy pieces of metal um and the the skin that actually goes underneath these three um to form the actual bottom of the the aft fuselage is very thick as well um, and it's very interesting how it kind of gets shoved underneath the skin but I'll, I'll talk about that in another video so i don't know if i have any news um 
these videos are coming out months after the whole problem with the uh, the cracked dimpled holes in the laser cut parts um, these three bulkheads um, were not laser cut but the other three the 1409 the 1408 and the 1407 were laser cut um, and I did double check all of those and made sure that I have no cracks. Um, they're very easy to see in there because you can kind of just crawl in the fuselage itself and look at all of the rivets. But I don't have a single cracked rivet, cracked dimple where the rivet is um, in any of the other three bulkheads, even though I know for a fact that they were laser cut. Um, and it was odd. Uh, Vans did put out some pictures of what the the cracked, you know, dimpled holes kind of look like, and it, it's not really a crack. It's more of a, it's not perfectly round, kind of thing. And none of my holes looked like their pictures, so I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, maybe it was a good day. Hopefully, it was a good day. I'm not sure what Vans is going to say about that. So we'll see what happens there. And then this is me just finishing up that um, the horizontal stab attach bar bulkhead. That's what that piece is called. And that's all there is. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Feel free to subscribe and like these videos.